It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow! Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> yeah. It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow! <laughs>
<laughs> oh. Yep. All right, we're gonna get started here in just a moment, guys. I'm, um, hold on. Just came across a little, little tiny problem here. Um, give me just a moment. Um. <laughs> It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow! <laughs> hey, what's going on, Passion? How are you? I saw you over there on YouTube. What's... Okay, so we need to start this game up. And, um... Okay, I don't really do Facebook Live much, guys. Uh, is there a way I... This is like, like a really dumb question. You'd think I would know this stuff, but... I don't have a way... Like, my phone is not showing me my live chat. Like, I don't want the browser open. It's probably one of those things where I'm going to need the Facebook app, and I don't want to do that either. I'm really against the Facebook app. I'd rather just... Well... Alright, let's see. Hold on, guys. Why does it keep doing this? 
I guess I'm just gonna have to have it on my desktop. I, I don't. I didn't want to do that. Hold on. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah. How's everybody doing today, guys? It doesn't even show my live video. Like what the heck? No, I'm not. I'm... It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Yeah, I don't even see it. Hold on, let's try this again. Oh, you know what? I think it's my fault. Whoops. <laughs> I didn't hit go live. Wow. All right, so my title: We are doing. Uh... <laughs> wow, guys. I can't believe it. Alright, we're going to be studying here momentarily, guys. every time seriously all right let's copy this all right let's see what happens now there we go So it was my fault. Looks like I'm late. No, you're okay, Joe. You're okay. We're just starting. This is the actually going live scene. All right. I want to get my my. Let's let's pause this. How do I pause this? Oh. Wow, that was my fault. I'm doing great as well, Passion. Welcome back to live me though. How you been? Like live be so different now, right? By the way, guys, just to let you know, I'm everywhere. So, like, I know Passion, you just came over from YouTube. Um. Okay, what the heck is going on now? My phone is going crazy. Oh, I hate this phone. Okay, so how is it running, guys? Is it running okay? I just want to make sure we're running okay. Oh, shit, it crashed. Let's try this again. Alright, cool. I think we're loading in now. <laughs> what the heck? Why am I not connected to the Wi Fi? Seriously? Oh, yeah. Internet not available. What? Okay, this phone is officially going crazy. It has officially gone crazy. But I feel like our CPU is much yet. Like, Facebook's just taking up too much. Alright, guys, give me a second. Passion, you still play Friday the 13th? 
Oh my guys. Why why does it keep doing that? I don't like that. Okay, we're back online. Wow, this this Okay, so where is my um how do I find it? Um Everybody is crying. Everybody's crying. All right, guys. It doesn't show my live video though. Why? You know what? Screw it. Just, just, just screw it, man. Facebook Live is so derpity derp. I don't like it. I just want to make sure we have this stuff open. Okay, I think for the most part everything else seems okay. Um, time is going fast, guys. Time is going very fast. Let's see. I think my game just officially froze. All right, so that's logged in. Great. I want to move this over here. This chat box right there. Okay. Okay, now we can actually close out of that. All right, I think we got it, guys. Yeah, I think we got it. Sorry about that huge delay. Alright, we can back out of here too. Alright, because we don't really need those open. I'm just going on there to go on there to get our videos on there. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and close that preview. Let's bring this chat box over here. And then let's see what happens. Alright. All right, good job. Okay, so let me just relaunch the game because it, it crashed. And then we're good to go, guys. And then we are good to go. All right, so we're going to be getting started here in just a moment. I should probably go offline and re-online again. What do you guys think? What was this? 25 minutes. Wow, 25 minutes. I haven't even started the game. You know what, it's all good. We'll just stay live, screw it. All right, let me just force close this game. This game just crashed on me. All right, let's try this again. And let's let that boot up. And then we are good to go. And then we are good to go.
It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow! <laughs> We're um rocking that episode number four, guys. Like that is crazy. That is crazy. All right, hold up. Where is my? I don't even have my webcam on. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, so let's go ahead and launch the game exactly where we left off here, guys. We're getting in right now on some Deadly Premonition on episode number four here. Four episodes already we have gone into this game, guys. Previously during the investigation. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Green. I'm Sheriff George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. You feel it, Zach? The coffee warned you about it. Yeah, the coffee warned you about it. It's so weird that coffee can warn you of what bad events can occur, right? All right, let's go. All right, so right now we're right where we left off. Um, we just need to figure out what exactly was going on here, guys. So we need to figure out where we're going. And I like how the map doesn't really give us the full map, so that's kind of out of the question. So let's go ahead and just hop into the car really quick. Bad thing about this game it's um very identical to like um what capcom's very known for is time trialing so like we're on a time limit here pretty much with these missions all right so let's go ahead and get in we're going in right now uh but we just need to remember where our main objective is how do i get out of here oh we gotta go this way yo these roads are just weird guys they are just so now, weird Joel Gray's daughter is of course that's right jennifer gray you knew that right zach jennifer gray she's in one of my most favorite movies ferris bueller's day off wow 1986 directed by john hughes <laughs> that one was so 80s zach you're not the most cheerful guy i know but you really do like those cheerful movies yeah we used you to love those teenage movies back then didn't we breakfast club and pretty in pink st elmo's fire Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Heckerling. Now that was an impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead, with Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates, not to mention Nicolas Cage and Forrest Whitaker were in it too. And the original book and the script were written by Cameron Crowe. How could that not be a great film? Do you remember, Zach? When that movie ended, 
The last words the end was from an arcade game. That's right, it was from Missile Command. That stuck in my head for a while. The memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. This guy's talking about a lot of weird stuff right now, guys. Then maybe we can catch up on a few. Give some thought about what movie you want to see next, Zach. Yeah, what movie we want to see next? You got it. Okay, you got it. Yo, Crazy Unicorns, thank you for the gifts. Guys, follow Crazy Unicorns over on Live Me. Am I missing something? No, we're good. Alright, let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Uh, let me know if the game audio is too low, guys. I'll go ahead and adjust it. But I, I had it set to where... Wow, this is a secret path that we found. We're actually getting a lot of... Um, a lot of ribbons. Look at this. We are getting honor points. Yo, we gotta turn our headlights on. There we go. What about our wipers? We want our wipers on? No, we'll turn them off. Yo, there's a lot of... Um... Yeah, we're taking everything. So what is this back road? I think there's a bone over here, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and jump out of the car here really quick. Talking about good movies, right, King? You already know, guys. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I've been doing a lot of thinking. How do you guys feel about Nintendo just going around and picking on these ROM sites? I mean, personally, I understand that these ROM sites are making money, and Nintendo sees it, and they're probably upset, and all that shenanigans, but... Realistically though, I, I, I feel like ROMs or like emulation in general just kind of keeps the preservation of retro gaming. Like, I understand maybe if you have a Nintendo Wii, you can get like Super Mario or maybe even Zelda. Like your very, very typical known Nintendo games. But what about those unheard of games? What are those games of you and I as a child that we played, but they're no longer at your... GameStop or record exchange or anything like that or you know or whatever game stores you have in your area and you know the only way to really obtain them or play them was through ROMs or websites right okay now most websites didn't really make crazy amounts of money uh, they only made money off ads which was just revenue obtained from you being on their website as long as you weren't using ad blocker uh, but for the most part some of them were I, I, I think some were kind of abusing the situation Wait, can I just... Nah, I gotta shoot it. How do I do this? I gotta waste a bullet, guys. We gotta waste a bullet. Whoa, look at that. The way it flown. This guy really got some shooting skills. Alright, we're gonna grab that item here real quick. How do I grab it? E again? I forgot how to play this game. What's up with the black cat? It's a black dog king. It's actually a black dog. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but... Shouldn't I let someone know? No, don't let nobody know. You are the FBI. You are the man. Like, don't get these guys in this town involved. Like, this city is really, really messed up. Look at that. It looks like the alpha dog from, I know, I know, from the movie Up. Or even from, uh, Ow, Chihuahua. Got to find Chica. All right, guys, so we're going back into the car really quick. All right, so we made it inside the vehicle right now, so we just got to go ahead and just continue on here. Let's go ahead and grab these ribbons. Wow, they're even off-road. Oh! We're getting we're getting honor points, though, which is great. Um, I, I just don't know what they want me doing here. They got me going, like, all kind of crazy angles. All right, let's, let's book it out of, out of here, guys. We're, like, in the back road here. We need to go. Wait, can we go in there? There's a deer out in the grass. I didn't know we can go in there. Or maybe they can. Oh, okay, oh. Sir. I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next. And what movie is and that? Finally, I've made a decision. Really? It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie. It is. I put a lot of thought into this. Okay, what do we I'm got? I'm sure you'll agree with me. Okay, I'm listening. 1975. Directed by Steven Spielberg himself. Ooh. The grandfather of panic movies. Set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. I was always afraid that a hand might come floating up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Wait, what movie yeah. is that? It's Jaws. Jaws! Accompanied by that John Williams music. I'd never been that scared by a movie before. 
But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. And Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. What's up, the baller? Had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. That reminds me, Zach. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg. The second Back to the Future. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course, but we'll discuss that another time. So, the scene where Jaws wow. appears is right after Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future. Okay. He passes by a movie theater and is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked, of course, but looking closer, he sees the words, Jaws Part 19. Really? The director is credited as Steven Spielberg Jr. In reality, there were actually only four Jaws movies. It was still a great joke. 30 years from 1985 would be 2015. Right. We'll be there pretty soon. I wonder what life would be like by then, Zach. Wow, did you guys ever knew that? Did anybody ever knew that? Like, that's some pretty good theory right there. Uh, what game is this? We're playing Deadly Premonitions. Uh, this is actually on... I think it's on all platforms. Not 100% sure. Oh, wow, the GPS moves on the, on the, on the, oh, I'm going off the road, guys. Oh! We gotta go back in town, guys. We're running out of gas. We're at 30% right now. 30%. Just a shortcut? Probably not. Well, that's where we need to go, but I don't think that's gonna be the way in. Ah, right here. Oh, smack the car, why don't we? Let's do it. So what building is this? Alright guys, let's go. Let's make that progress. Sounds like he's bored. <laughs> right, King? Yo, Jaws was in Marty McFly when he ducked from the shark in the movie. Do you guys remember this scene? Zach, Emily arranged for people to come between 1500 and 1700. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. Okay, well, yeah, you know, that, that works out too. That works out too. 1500 and 1700. What time is it now? 2142? Oh, so I got, I got time to explore then, guys. Let's explore! <laughs> Oh man, I remember this part. Good luck. Oh, don't say that, King. Don't say that, bro. I'm scared, man. Too bad we can't drive regular cars. We're always driving like um, cop cars. Which one was I driving? Ooh, this one would be cool to drive. But I guess any of them without transparent windows, I guess we're not riding. His running skills. All right, so we're gonna get back into the cop car. Right, 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 right. Yep. And uh. We, we just gotta wait. Or we just gotta do the, um... I can't stop yawning. Or we're just gonna have to do some of the, um... Check around town. Actually, before we get crazy with anything, let's hit the, um... Let's hit the option menu really quick and hit up the map real quick. What do we got right here? Alright, so, how do we, uh, zoom in and out? There's not really much zooming out there. So we go out this way and then the town is right here. So let's just head to the town real quick. What is this all about? This part is so backwards with this game. Yo, what's going on, boy from? Boy from? From? Boy from? Oh man, that tongue twists me. Guys, I want to let you guys know right now, guys. We are the new member of Box Hound. Let's go. Nah, I'm just joking. 
Hmm. Okay. I, yeah, I do need gas. Holy crap, this one needs gas. But you know what? We're going to be close to the town anyway. Bum ba da bam ba da bam ba ba Ooh, what's that? Is that a banded truck off the road? Whoa! Yeah, just grab some honor? Okay, that, that works out too. Alright, so this should take us back into the town, right? Yep, there's the town, guys. Alright, let's go. The driving in this game is still one of the weirdest physics I've seen. Can I break these fences? No, no, definitely not. That's that's not going to be the case. I used the siren because I guess it's like a speed boost. What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so what else do we have here? We got a, we got a phone, actually, so let's hit up the phone real quick. Fucking, jeez, the turning in this game is so weird. It's so weird. All right, we're going to try to make some progress here today, guys, but I want to make sure that we unlock it. something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the community center by 1500 today. Just think of talking in front of all those people. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. This guy. All right, let's make that phone call here real quick, guys, just like we did in Parasite Eve. All right, do you want to save? Absolutely. Let me save the game. Did we save? I think we saved. Did we lose a dollar? Did we just lose a dollar for saving the game? All right, so uh, gas. There's no way to really get gas in this game, is there? It's just kind of like we just got to grab a new car. Hmm. All right, what else do we got around here? Um... We got a card over there right by uh what street is that? I don't even know what street that is. Oh, Lincoln Street. Okay, looking at it upside down made it kind of difficult. Alright, let's get back inside the car. He's really talkative, it's okay. You know what? He keeps us entertained though. There's a gas station in this game. There is Joe? What? Okay, I see the food, I see the drinks, I'm not seeing the gas station. All right, let's keep the map open and let's look around. You guys said there's a gas station. All right, I see houses, I see phones. I see the sheriff's, um... What was that all about? Gas station. Do we have to physically find a gas station, or is that something that's going to pop up on a map? Where would a gas station be? This is very interesting indeed! Yo, Rocky, I see you on Facebook. What's up, bro? <laughs> Giving me that thumbs up. Alright, I, I just hate that I gotta have a browser open. Like, why, why can't I go on Facebook on my phone? Like, it don't make any sense because Facebook is taking up a, a lot of CPU, to be honest. All right, here we go. Hold on. We got... So we go here, right? We're gonna run out of gas, guys. The big map? Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's check the big map real quick, guys. Alright, I wish we could zoom out more. Jeez. I mean, it says when I was live, but it doesn't let me see...
Okay, where is the gas station? In a different town? I've seen it before. Well, the red buildings kind of tells us what they are. Nick's house, Anna's house, the bank. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, Rocky. We're still going to say Ram just because I can see your picture, but... Um... Yo, okay. Electrical substation. A gas station can't be this far. Come on, it's got to be a gas station in each city, right? That's a junkyard. Panda bear. This is it right here. No, that's a farm. I don't know guys. I don't I don't know what is going on here. I don't know. There's a lot of houses. Man, we'll never make it to a gas station, guys. That's a Becky's house. We gotta check out Becky's house actually. I wish we had a better, um, like a better uh, toggle map, left control space. Oh, look at this. Honestly, guys, it is in town. Really? All right, where was I at? I was over here, right? No, that's the dead end. It's probably one of these buildings. But it doesn't tell us what is what unless it's red. Sheriff's department. What's this pink house? Nick's house. Honestly, Joe. I don't know what I'm looking at, bro. What's this? Galaxy of Terror. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my guesses and go this way. Alright, that's that's something else. We're gonna find a gas station, guys. That's not it. I am about to run out of gas. Um, hello, Joyful. How you been? Wow, it's in the first town by. Oh, it's in the first town. But why is it just in the one town? You telling me there's only one gas station in this like large amount of like land like no way I don't even know where the first land or first city was probably back to the left I think it was over or no not over here hold on let me go up a little bit well I guess it's not really that big but it's still like what did I Where did I start the game? I don't remember. Did I start over here? I think I started over here. Forest Keeper Cabins. Yeah, I think this is where I started. That's Forest Park. Um, you know what? You've been doing good, just been sick, yeah. Joey, a lot of people are being sick right now. I think with the hurricanes coming in and all this, like, different change of weathers and climates and stuff, I think everybody's catching something right now. You know. So, on the map, though, it doesn't say gas station, I'm assuming. I, I just, it's, a, it's an area that I had to remember, which I don't. 
Oh gosh. Big gun shop. Obviously not anywhere around here. Yep, definitely not in this area. That's the farm. Okay, so it's not gonna be that way. Wow, so that means every time I need gas, I gotta go way out here. It's probably this way. This is Hamilton Way. June's Bridge. There's the phone right there. No, because when we started, we went across a bridge, right? I wish there was just a better way to look at the map, guys. This is like... I'm, I'm still zoomed in. Like, I don't want to be this close to the map. Why can't I zoom it out? Wait, did the map just like change directions here? I don't even see the big gun shop. Wow, guys, I'm really bad with directions right now. Like, so terrible. I can't even describe how bad I'm doing. You love this game? What's going on, Cosmic Panda? Pop up bed. Oh! I'm trying to find a gas station. That's what we're doing right now. And I've been told. Oh, man, screw this, guys. I can't, I can't be yawning like this. No, it's too early to be yawning like this. Hold on. Get me something to wake me up. Hold on, guys. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. What game? Uh, we're playing Deadly Premonition. Uh, this is the Director's Cut Edition. It has a road going diagonally down to the right. Okay, cool. Now we know. All right, guys. Cheers. Woo! Okay. <clears throat> Time to wake up. Alright, so diagonally right, right? Bottom right? Hold on, I will die. Maybe this is a little too much. Alright, so we'll just go bottom right, right? And then we'll start going a little at the angle here. There's no town. Wow, this is all water. Are we going to that island there? There's a lot of weird land here to cover, guys. Alright, so there's the uh, Oxford thingy, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's the... Um, bum, 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 bum. That's the hospital. All right, what if we just go by where we were just at? Let's start where we are, right? Diagonally, right, bottom right. Okay, what's over here? Brian's house. That's the farm. Hospital. I'm... It'd be easier getting a new car, right? It would be easier getting a new car. And I think that's what I've been doing this whole entire game. You said you needed to wake up, so set that evidence in song. There you go. There you go. Oh, um, you know what? I don't do music too much because of copyright. Um, it's really sad and it's annoying because not only do as streamers we get copyright and we get slapped in the face every time about this shenanigans, and it's like the small guys are not making this tons of money. Why are we getting violated? Like, okay, if you want to violate people with like 
that are generating like this severe amount of income. Sure, yeah, but little guys, like seriously? You know, just like the ROM sites. We're losing ROMs, guys! They're getting shut down by Nintendo. Is it good or is it bad? It sounds good on their part and it sounds bad to the community, but in the long run, they are protecting themselves, but then they're also kind of ruining the past. Like, you know, like there's no way now to play those games because some of them will, n will cease to exist. Yeah, no, yeah, very true, very true, very true. All right, you know what, guys? Screw this. I'm done. I'm done! No! I'm not doing it! I'm using Game Shark. Give me a new car. Yo, what is that? Oh, it's 2200 hours right now, guys. Look at this guy, he's scared. He sees a cop car. He's like, whoa! I'm going to the police station. I'm gonna let the uh, sheriff department refill the gasoline, guys. I ain't doing it. I hate the turning in this game. The turning in this game is so weird. Especially on, um... Okay, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. And playing this game on a keyboard, guys? Let me tell you, it's hard, yo. Yo, I'm about to run out of gas. Where's that police department? I, I saw it earlier. Uh, it's over here to the... Oh! Alright. There we go, guys. We made it here. Oh, wait. Uh, yep, yeah, no, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. No, yeah, no, no, yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm about to crash. Oh, my gosh. Why is the steering... It feels like... I don't... How do you describe the steering? Um, uh, remember when we used to play Need for Speed, but you had, like, those starter cars, and you couldn't really, uh, steer right? That's what this game feels like right now. Look at this. I can't even make a proper turn here. Alright, what police cars we got here? Ooh, we got two of them? Yeah, see, I'll, I'll just let them fill up the cars. I'm not gonna... Oh, hey, I parked it right the first time. Alright, guys, let's just get out of the car. I'm going to find the gas station eventually, guys, but as of right now, we're not going to be able to at this very moment. Uh, you said you needed to wake up, so, oh, yeah, Nintendo control. Yeah, that's very true, guys. But, guys, by the way, um, at least you still got Red in that name, so at least we know who you are. But, guys, if you can, follow Cosmic Papa Red. Um, you know, Papa Red was actually a live streamer with me over at Live.me and transitioned himself over to Twitch, guys. So, if you guys can help support him, that'd be great. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, grab one of these cars. Or do I want the SUV? I like the car better. Yeah, watch. We're going to have full gas right now. You better. Woo! 100%! 100%! Yeah, yeah. I just grabbed me another cop car. So now we're going to go and drive on and on. 100%. Oh, I forgot how to turn the blinkers on and off. Okay, there we go. We're good. Whoa! Alright, so let's, um... Okay, so we need to check the map, guys. There's some suspects we had to check out before we get to our mission, right? Who haven't we checked out yet? He gives us hints in games, though, so that's good. We're gonna go ahead... Oh, my car flipped! What the? You guys didn't tell me my car could flip in this game? Oh, shoot. Close? All these houses are closed right now, guys. That one's closed, too. Um, alright, so... Wow, that's um popping willies, guys. Popping them willies. How we do it? Okay, so um, much love, absolutely, bro, absolutely. Um, Papa Red, I'll keep you posted, bro. Uh. I myself, I've been looking at other mobile live streaming apps just to look at them, you know. Um, Joypo, now you're over there. Now you're over here. I see you over here too. <laughs> uh, 
<sighs> the only thing I've been seeing is a lot of these other mobile apps are kind of doing the same thing that LiveMe was doing with the bonus contracts, right? <laughs> we don't want that. Um, there was this one app, though. Um, that was very identical. Like, it's kind of like a bonus contract, but you are guaranteed a minimum amount. I can't really disclose that, but, um, you know, if that's something you're interested in, just let me know. You know, and, and then their requirements are not really too over excessive. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, again, the only bad thing is it's not really good for North America. Like, it's mainly, like, an Asian app. So, like, when you go on there and half of the people, like... I don't know. For gaming anyways too, it's really slow. That's the problem. You know. But even Lie Me slow. Lie Me Gaming just guys, okay, well Fluxer, I don't I don't know. Is Lie Me going to keep gaming since Fluxer flopped, right? I'm not sure what they want to do, guys. Oh, Archer Bones, what's going on? Hey, I see you guys. Yeah, I got the comments above me, guys. So if you guys want to see your comments, whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, whatever, um, everybody can see your comments, guys. All right, so we need to work up on a few more things here. Uh, we can't go to nobody's houses. So wait, what can we do here? How do I bring up my objectives? I forgot. I seriously forgot. Journal, no, no journal, no notes. Oh, I just exit the car. We just exited the car, guys. Oh my god. Yo, it just got quiet in here, right? It just got quiet. Okay, so why did I leave the car? For no apparent reason. But the thing is, um, we need to... Uh, I can't go to no houses. Everything's closed. It looks like we just need to go get some sleep, guys. We're just going to sleep it up. I got I to gotta get some missions done. We got to get some progress rolling in, guys. All right, so let's, uh, let's check the map one more time. We're going to do the big map, actually. This is so backwards. Like these, I hate the keyboard controls. They're so wonky, wonkalicious. All right, so what do we got here? This is the sheriff's apartment, which we can't go. We can't go to any of these buildings right now. So what if we go here? That's the diner, right? So let's go straight up, make that left. Okay, so let's try that. I got my caps lock on. We don't want that. Okay, so let's let's go straight up, make that left turn here, guys. Yeah, she. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! That's how you ride it. Yo, watch out! I'm the five O. I'm the popo. That's right, buddy. Hey, you can beep all you want. All right. So, was this it? So, where shall we go next? Is this supposed to be like a like a kind of like a big boy type deal, but different? So we can't go anywhere, guys. So what if we get out of the car and peek through these windows? I mean, I, I, I guess that's something we can do, right? I mean, we're running out of options here. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do about Fluxer, though. Honestly, I, I, I don't know what they're going to do about Fluxer. I think they're just, um, either they got something planned. Ice Blast, thanks for the follow. Either they got something planned or they're just abandoning the gaming in general. Because even on Live Me, they're, I think people now that come to the app can't even go live. Like, unless they're on Fluxer. So I think they had really high hopes to really make Fluxer a thing. And I know LiveMe did it because of its competitors. But they severely failed at it. Like, I think trying to move people to a whole new app just really destroyed it rather than making it better. Um, so hopefully, you know, again, they, I mean, they lost a lot of streamers. People are mad, yo. I mean, you gave these, you gave too many contracts out, first of all. Um, and then, the, you know, in the contracts they were giving out, they were just giving hard times paying people. So people just got upset and left, you know? People ain't got time for that. 
All right, so there's somebody down in the back, guys. Somebody's in the back. You saw that? I just saw a fly go across the window. All right, let's get closer to the kitchen right now. What is the chef up to right now? The chef is up to something. All right. All right, guys. So we're getting in towards the back right now just to kind of see what's going on here. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Cereal and watching. Yo, cereal is amazing, yo. I, st I will still smash some cereal. Cereal is good. You don't mind? What kind of cereal are you eating? Actually, wait. Did I have cereal? Yeah, I actually I had cereal today too. Now I think about it. You know, that's a good way to get your calcium in. Good way to wait. Is there a back window back here? Oh, we can open this gate. It's locked. Ooh, we need a key. You son of a gun. But that's okay. There's a window right here. So let's peek through this window, guys. Yeah. Actually, I tried... Uh, what was that? Cookie Chris? I tried the... Um, I was eating some of the um, birthday cake cereal today, actually. Alright. Lo looks like the fly is... Jeez, look at this fly. He's flying around. It's the final lap. Why is that fly flying around so much? There's nothing. We can't see anything, guys. I need to get to the back. Be a perv. Get a potato. I know, potato. 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 You know what? I just failed miserably. I, I just realized something. I never went live over here. Wow. Now we did. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. All right, let's get back into this game. All right, so that that just failed big time. Nothing much. Nothing much we can do here, guys. I, I, there's not much we can do. I guess we just go to sleep. What what is with these bugs flying around me? What's with the bugs in this game, guys? Look, look, look. They're flying around me. Why? Do I need a shower or something? My guys stink? Guys, let's go take a shower, yo. Guys, we gotta go clean up. Look, look, look. I got bugs all around me. They're still in the car with me. Look at this. Look at this. What? I, what is this? Why are you bugging me? Whoa, they're going in my face. I'm like, look. Why do we got bugs? Lucky Charms and with Unicorn Marshmallows. Mmm. Project Zero. Ooh, Lucky Charms with Unicorn Marshmallows. Okay. Um, we need to hit up a sleeping spot. Where's my, where's my sleeping... I don't even remember where our hotel is, guys. Where is my hotel? Can't find a Holiday Inn. Because I don't even know how to get in. Where is my hotel? It wasn't in this town, that's for sure. Galaxy of Terror. So maybe I could just find one of those random sleep joints. I mean, I, I guess we don't really need the... Like, we can go here. How, can I set a waypoint? Of course we can't. Why, 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 why would it let me do that? Alright, so make a right. Keep going down. Yeah. All right, so there was a sleeping spot this way, guys. So right around here, there was a sleeping spot. Um... Aha, uh -huh, right here. Dude, you guys hear the grass? It's all squishy and wet. Wow, this is the indestructible fence, guys. Is that a horse? Oh my god, it's a horse, yo. Wow, that's a strong horse! Woo! Okay, oh, you just be advised. We are now in pursuit of the horse. 
How did they do that? Wow, guys, that is that's the horse. That's the horse we need for the races. I bet on that horse. Absolutely. The pink box was my home. Ah, okay. Pink box is our home, guys. All right, let, let's get out of this car. We're just gonna get some sleep and shut eye. Yeah, Joe. You know what happened was uh, just so many Dad, games in between. Something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the community center by fifteen hundred today. Yeah, just I think of talking in front of all those people. Yeah, ooh, what do you wow. think, Zach? It's going to get fun. Okay, this house is red, but there's no way of going getting in. No, I, maybe we're just not allowed to be here yet. I want to get some sleep. Right, our guy is getting low. Well, no, he's not even tired, though. But he's going to get hungry again. So right now it is 22. So we got 23. 400 hours. That's a long way to go, man. Long sleep, that's going to make me... I don't know. You like being old? Oh, wait, what emoji is that? <laughs> oh, man, it's like, get off my lawn! That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna see 12 hours. Screw this. We're gonna get hungry, guys. We'll just get food. Why not? We got money. Mm. I haven't screwed. Oh, my guy is starving. Uh, do what? See, we don't need to take a shower, guys. We're taking a shower right now. See, free, free shower. My right, mother nature, mother nature. Yo, where my cargo? Wait, how do I take up my items? Oh, we don't. Oh, I had to go. I had to manually go to my items. Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Item. Uh, shoot. Okay, well, you know what? I can explain. Alright, well, at least we got something in our system, guys. Better than nothing. Okay, so now... Oh, my cop car is right there. Alright. But we still got a long way to go. Well, time will go kind of fast, though. The dang kids, they on my lawn. Ram, what's up? What's up? What's up? Joe, I know I'm probably driving you crazy, bro. I'm sorry, guys. You know what? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I like Facebook live streaming, guys. I, I, I'm not really sure. Let me get my wiper ain't working. Oh, there we go. All right, so the rain's gonna make driving definitely a lot more difficult, guys. So we gotta be careful. Yo, that bench just teleported. What the heck? And we're not getting out this way. Let's bust a U-turn, guys. Whoa! Whoa! That's a heavy horse, man. Wait, how do I get out of here? Um, obviously not the same way we came in. What? Um, time out. This way? We gotta break it. Oh, okay, makes sense. 
Do I see a deer? Yo, the items in this game are buggy. Oh no, that's a metal. Oh, almost lost the car, guys. Alright. But since it's earlier in the day, things should be open right now. So let's go check on some suspects, guys. Well, at least I know where the health system and Lollipop came from. <laughs> Lollipop Chainsaw, right? Uh -huh. Thank you for the 5,000 likes, Joey Phone. Yo, look at my look at my speedometer, guys. It's going weird. I'm going to this diner real quick. Whoop whoop! Ah, same skin for the pops here. Same skin. All right, I'm going inside. Oh, have I ever mentioned that this is one of the hardest games to play in the PC, guys? It is extremely bug. It's closed. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. It's like 10 in the morning. What do you mean closed? Wow. Just wow. What time is the restaurant open then? Jeez. What's wrong with this town? This town is really messed up, guys. I mean, let, let me tell you. Oh, by the way, Portrait Zero, check this out. I changed something. Look at this. Hold on. So when people want to subscribe now, I, I added that to make it more simpler, right? Obviously, we're going to try to focus a little bit more on just Twitch subs now instead of uh, the whole game list thing. I think it'll just make things much more simpler that way. Um, you know, I, when I made game list, it was more like when we weren't an affiliate. So, like, that's why I had it. Um, so, yeah, that I think we'll just stick to that. And then... Uh, even down in the panel, the sub button by default, if you click it, it's the same link that I, with the command, um, game was, is an option, but I put it down in the description underneath the sub button. Uh, and then for people over on Twitch, what I did, I mean, uh, Twitch, YouTube, I added a new command because, you know, like when we do like creative destruction, we get a lot of people on YouTube trying to join. And it's like, I don't have a queuing system on YouTube because YouTube doesn't have that type of integration yet so to manually make a queue system is just a pain in the arse I, I can't go in anywhere guys why can't we just go anywhere like this is gonna drive me off the wall do I need to go to sleep again I don't I don't want to go to sleep again what about the police station is it open what is this building it won't it won't let me in there though and why why is this what, what is this why is there a street pole in the middle of a like what the all right who uh, who was the um who made this town who does that what the heck and the line ends there On YouTube? I'll look into it. I'll see what I can find. I'll see what I can find. Oh, on Twitch. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you meant like YouTube. Hmm. Yeah, like the queuing I have. I have to open and close it. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't know what we're gonna do here. Th there might be some kind of objective I need to- Oh wait, he wanted to talk. No, he doesn't. What about those suspects houses? Like, is there anywhere I need to go? There's nothing. And what's with the pink house? Why is that house pink? 
Oh, Joe told me. You forgot the pink box was your home. Right. Oh my God, tricks. All right, let's go. Let's go inside our pink box then. But when did we ever get this place? I thought we were like at a hotel. I don't. I don't remember. I'm losing my marbles, guys. Did I really just park across the street? This house doesn't even have a garage. Man, I, I, no, no, unacceptable. How much is how much does it cost to live here? No. Ants Canada. Okay, see, look, I got bugs flying around me, guys. Like, look at this. They're driving me crazy. But yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like on YouTube, people try to join my games, and it's like I don't have a queuing system, so it's like. And what do you mean by auto queues? Like, uh, like. I just recently came back to Twitch not too long ago, so it's like I got a lot of catching up to do. All right, so we can sleep here, um, but we don't want to sleep yet. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we want to? What do we want to do here, guys? First of all, let's let's. Yeah, these bugs flying around me are are really bothering me. So hold on. First, let's go in the bathroom. Let's open that up. And it is time to fresh it up. No, that's the backyard. No, I did not want to go outside. Why did you go outside? It should have said, are you sure you want to go outside? No, it didn't tell me anything. It just said, you're going outside. Okay, let's go. What does Ants, Ants Canada, like, what, 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 what do they do with their videos? I know, like, every YouTuber has, like, their own, like, set of, like, priority video, videos. Um, so check this out. I downloaded something called TubeBuddy, right? Obviously, all the big YouTubers are using it. And after looking at it over it closely, I, I just feel like they try every way they can to get you to buy some buy their package plan. So it's like to me, it feels useless. I might just take it off. Like some of the options that they want to do, I already could do, and it's like I don't know. I mean, it has some good features, but most of the features too. Like I said, they were trying to get you to pay for it. And it's like. Ah, I don't know. They were kind of... Wait, I better get something to eat soon. Open, but yeah, hold on. Open. Okay, which... I, I don't want to go outside. Which way is outside? That's outside? When I came in, I came in through that door, right? This is outside. Watch, I bet you. Oh my gosh, of course it's outside. I should have known by the door. It had, like, the outside logo right there. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm having such a hard time right now. Ants Canada is made to have different kind of main themes of Star Mario. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, okay. You know, I don't understand why people eat hot dogs. They are the most disgusting thing in the world. But yet, they are the most demanding thing in the world. You know? Oh, Mega Colonies. Look at that. Look at that. All right, I'm going back inside. We're not going outside. There's that other door that will take us to the bathroom, guys. We want to go in there. We got to shave, right? We got to shave. There we go. Right here to the right. Or left. Jeez, I'm just so backwards today. All right, so the bugs mean I need to change my clothes, right? Look at the bugs around me. like, Mrah. My guy stinks, guys. There's my toolbox. I ain't worried about the toolbox right this moment. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and shave up real quick. All right, let's get some shaving going now. You need to wash your clothes. If there are flies, <laughs> right? My clothes, I've been. It's bad. All right. Um. All right, we shade. We shade pretty good, guys. So what is this door for? Oh, the shower. All right, so we can't use the sink. We can't use the toilet. Where's the bathtub? There's no bathtub in this house. How do I wash my clothes? Where's my laundromat? I mean, we're not playing sim, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, I don't even see a shower. Oh, it might actually be in here. Aha, uh -huh. it's going to be a walk-in shower. All right, let's go. Let's see. No, it's... Wow, that's all... What the? Is that the tub? Um... Guys... That's a long tub. All 
What's going on, DQ? That's not a tub, it's a coffin! The Fire Nation of Golden Empire, the main attraction, isn't a human. Well, that's that's really good. Guys, I need to change my clothes, guys. My guy has flies. I guess time was flying by. All right, where's my clothes? Right here, guys. There's my suitcase. Let's change up. All right, let's change. What do we want to wear today? But this one increases your HP, attack, and cash. Reduce hunger and tiredness. Oh, but it's very dirty. Do you say no problem? Okay, so how do I um how do I clean my clothes? What the right, I'm gonna do the red one. Oh okay. Oh my gosh, come on Trix, get back in there. How are you? I'm doing really good, I'm doing really well guys. Thank you so much for asking. FBI Black, okay, so yeah, this one is the default skin. Now this I can't do anything with. So let me go here, change your clothes. Wait, 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 no, no. We do cleaning? Would you like to have it washed? It will cost $2, $2. Now I'll just change it. But these outfits don't give me any benefits, though. Ten dollars! What? What? Mm. What? You want me to pay ten dollars? Ten dollars? Okay. All right. I see how this is going. I'm doing really good, Saku. You got 9K. What are you wearing? <laughs> Woo! Man! All right, we need to clean it up, guys. Wow. But see, I like this one because it takes 24 hours for it to get clean. Okay, so I still got to wear something else for now. All right. And this is no problem. You know, while we're at it, guys, let, let's just let's just clean it all up. I mean, why not? I mean, why not? We got 9,000, right? Let's do it. All right, it's... It'll take 24 hours. All right. So we're going to wear this for now. It's going to take 24 hours to get clean. That's a kind of cool feature. I kind of like how they went about with that. Now, are there any negative impacts, though, on wearing clothes? I mean, besides the flies flying around me. They were driving me nuts, to be honest. All right, guys. So right now, we're rocking that black suit right now. We're part of the FBI. What's the time right now, Gabe? I don't even know. Ah, I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well, guys. Thank you so much for asking. Yo, my CPU is at like 50%. Wow. But you know what, though? I mean, I'm streaming on like all these platforms. And... <sighs> Yo, Portage Zero, I got a question for you. How does the stream look? Because I'm trying something different, by the way. I'm trying something different, so I'm kind of curious. Um, because instead of using the... Uh, I'm using the the video encoder, so I'm pretty much stressing my GTX 1080 Ti rather than my CPU, which is great because now it's not as CPU intensive, you know. So, oh right, yeah, very true, very true, very true, you know. Okay, so let's get back in, guys. Let's get back in. Hmm. Out of curiosity, I actually do want to check out my Twitch channel right now, too. I'm going to go on my app. Well, does my app even show my video? I don't know if it does. It should, right? Let me see. Stream files. Hit the yeah, Twitch here. I don't know if it's going to show me my phone. It shows I'm live. I see the red button. There's my dashboard. Oh, what the? Yo, what just happened? No, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Ah, there's my video. All right, how does this look on full screen? Let's put this on full screen. All right, I'm taking a look right now. All right, so let's let's see how this is all turning out for the most part. And let's see how this looks really quick. Make sure we're in sync and everything.
Wow, it actually looks like it's playing pretty good. Looks crisp. I'm not really seeing too much of a difference. Okay, yeah, you're not going to see much of a difference. I know that they say that you get lost the quality, right? Or recording anyways. But realistically, live streaming, you're not going to get like ultimate like 4K graphics and super anti-aliasing edging, you know, because this is a live stream. It's not a local recording video, so it really doesn't matter. So I figured instead of like destroying my CPU, let's just stress out our graphics card. That's the whole purpose of it, right? I got this 11 gigs of VRAM and uh, all this memory and core clock to use, and I'm not even using it. Because obviously this game is not going to take up all my GTX. My 1080 can handle this game without a doubt. But I'm not even getting a full 60 frames in this game. This game is just because of the way it's like ported or something. I don't know. It's just the... Where did my cop car go? Yo! So... Oh, my game just crashed. <laughs> as soon as I said something about it. Oh, no. I didn't save the game. And there's my... There's that. Okay, so we need to take that off. Oh, guys, I screwed up big time. Wow. All right, let's launch the game again. Shoot, that just crashed on me, guys. What the heck? Obby is the same exact skin from this game in Lollipop Chainsaw. Really? Really? Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay, so we're, we're we're logging back in right now, guys. I'm I'm sorry about that. Oh my gosh, I hope the game auto saved. I'm gonna cry. Well, we really didn't really do much anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and resume, guys. Let's resume. Obviously, during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome. I'm Sheriff George Woodman. All right, well, this game is loading. Give me one second, guys. There's something in this town. Feel it, Zach? The coffee warned me about Um, I see the game's loaded in now, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, showtime! Let's go! Uh, the human eye can only process X amount of images at one time. That is very true. It is a, it's a huge lie, honestly. You won't be able to really see the huge difference between a GTX 660 versus a, a T-Titan 1080. It's just stupid money scamming. Yeah. Well, you know what? That's also like the RTX 2080. I've done a lot of homework and research on it, and it's just not worth it. There's no reason to get the 2080. What, just for a little couple extra FPS and it's not really like a, a dramatic change? Like, my 1080 is still just as good. Like, there's no need. But remember when the 1080 first came out, it was like not that expensive and then it became expensive and then now they're kind of going down in price again because they brought out the 2080. But it's like, it's just funny how, funny how things work out here. Okay, so this is where we saved it, right? And I'm still wearing these clothes. Oh, we got to go back to where our home was, guys. Shoot, where was my home? All right, which is fine. Um, I think our house was this way. Right, our house was this way somewhere. Okay, and aha, uh -huh, make a right. But every time I go in the house, I think it crashes my game. Why? I don't know. Whoa, what was that? Oh! No! 
It's all marketing. You got it. You got it. I have yet to see a game. My 660 can't handle on default high graphics. No, you know what, Poetry Zero? That is very true. When I had my GTX 970, it actually ran most games on high without a problem. Um, and that's even with some graphic options enhanced. Now... Some games I couldn't do like ultra or anything like that or I will have to minimize the shading something with to do with the shading Made my card lag um, But you know that's from a streaming point of view too like just gaming alone. It was a phenomenal card But I just needed something just a little bit more But I'm hoping my 1080 is good for the next five years. I mean, I'm not really trying to spend another 500 to a thousand dollars on a graphics card again. I mean, this it's getting you know, it's getting expensive But I don't think we have much of a choice. All right, so let's change our clothes here again We're gonna wash them up, but they take 24 hours of clean though. So let's wear this All right, so we just change it to that which is good this we're gonna need to clean up Okay, it's gonna cost ten dollar and this one let's clean it anyway But it said no problem. So why did I just waste two dollars because I'm just that's just what I do all right, so we got our black clothes on, guys, and this is where we get out of here again. All right, we got to get to a save point. Oh, the GTX 600 series were well known for that. Yeah, reliable and durable. Yeah, no, that's true. I think the 6 series was great because I think at that, you know what? It's all based on their competitor, too. So whatever AMD was doing at the time or ATI, whatever. And you know, Nvidia, I mean, they, they have that that time frame where they're like, they make their, they go all in making a really good card, you know, and then they purposely just start screwing things up. So my cop car is missing, guys. Well, at least we're back on the road. So let's get running. Where did my cop car go? We lost our police vehicle, guys. It disappeared. What the heck? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, that, our, our, our police car literally... Oh, there it is. How'd it get here? Already then. Let's go. Let's do it. Yo, thanks for the follows, guys. It all matter to them. The only thing they care about for the sake of... How yeah, no, that's true. That's true. That's like the Elgato 4K uh, Pro. You know, it's like... It's a good card, but it's almost like... It's useless if you don't have a really good, a really good, um, good hardware to maintain that, that quality, you know, like, uh, whoa, what the, what is going on? We are shaking! We're shaking! No, for real. What the heck is going on here? Alright, so let's, uh, what, 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 what's all here, guys? Anything good? What is this all about? Oh, uh, the driving in this game, guys. Twenty percent gas. So I, we gotta hurry up and. Uh... Hmm. No, nothing. Just my imagination. Oh, police station's this way. Shoot. Oh my God, the driving in this game. Like, look at this. It's like we're sliding. Whoa! Slip and slide. Let's go. Let's do it. And that's the funny part. Most now is made with cheap inferior parts. Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, because the new Elgato doesn't even have a built-in encoder, right? So pretty much it's just running off your hardware. The card does the capturing, but it's not encoding nothing. So that means your CPU usage is... I think you can run it off your GPU though too. So that's a kind of cool function. But you do get 4K though, so hey, I mean, 4, I don't know, I, I think it's just that 4K title that tricks people into buying things, I mean, just like, it got me, so I mean, I don't know. No, but the good thing, the only reason why I did it was because if you had like a 1080 capture card, and you wanted to capture a Xbox Enhanced game, or you are playing it on a 4K TV, so what happened with me, it forced downscale to 1080, I was playing on a, I was playing 1080 on a 4K TV. 
I was like, really? Like, so it was a really, it defeated the purpose. Now I can capture the 4K. The capture card will downscale it to my computer, 1080 or 720, whatever I want. But I can still play my Xbox now in 4K. That's the only reason why I went and got it because that bothered me. You know, my old HD Elgato card just, it wasn't doing it. I wasn't, I wasn't going to play. What's the whole point of having an Xbox One X and a 4K TV? I can't even play 4K, so. But the other downside to the Elgato 4K that really bothered me the most is that it does not support HDR, guys. The high dynamic range was not supported by the card. Big bummer because that's one of the key factors of having a 4K TV is that HDR makes everything just looks a lot better and smoother and crisp, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so, ooh, I just hit a cone. What's up, Grace Green? How are you? You got it. Yeah, yeah, true. It's true. But at the same time, the Elgato 4K was only 400 bucks. Still sounds like a lot of money. Um, but compared to other cards, they were at a starting amount of $1,000 or more. So in a way, you are getting like, you're still getting that 4K you want, but you're just losing that HDR. And you're not spending $1,000. So in the long run... I guess it all adds up kind of the same. You just got to do your research, you know? That's like me. I went and got this 4K camera, right? Like, why do I have a 4K camera when I can only, do, you know, mo I mean, I'm, I'm only, I'm not really doing like full screen recordings or like business conference meetings or anything. So, I mean, but I just figured, hey, if I'm going to spend a hundred bucks on a 1080, spend $50 more and just get a 4K camera, just go for it. Just get it out of the way. And I don't even like it because the 4K has like a huge delay between my mic and... Well, maybe if I used the mic on the camera, it might have worked better. I don't know. But the delay was really bad. Like, I, you can only do 30 frames and then um, the delay was pretty terrible. Alright, I think we got to get some sleep in this game. Is that what we're doing? Everything's still closed, right? Yeah, everything's closed. Where's my house at? Well, we just passed our house. I should have went to sleep, guys. All right, let's get some progress in this game because right now we're just we're just driving in circles. Oh! All right, so we're gonna go this way and then we're gonna make eleven and we're gonna go ahead and sleep again, guys. It's actually a back door, so let's just take the back door. Wow! Wow! What the? What was there? No, I don't see anything. Hmm? No, nothing. Just my imagination. Oh my gosh! Look, I'm getting stuck on random things in this game. What? There's nothing here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so obviously don't drive off the curve, guys. Look, I hate the driving in this game. Okay. Oh. All right, let's step out. It looks great. Thank you. Thank you. So you can broadcast your Xbox games. Nice. Right. Absolutely. It's like manufacturing can't put out something durable that won't break they just don't for the cash yeah oh yeah you know and that's like sicknesses too you know we got pharmacy for that why 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 cure something when you can maintain it you know there's no point of curing something and and if you cure it then you you losing profit right so prescribe somebody something you know, make them temporarily feel well about themselves, and then, hey, they'll keep coming back. That's guaranteed income coming in. Yeah, no, that is very true indeed. I'm going to get some sleep in this game, guys. <sighs> it's going to kill my hunger, though, but... Uh, we're going to do nine hours. No, not even. What was it, 20? This is going to kill our hunger like a son of a gun. Alright, Jack has to get something to eat soon. Yeah, well, that we do understand. <sighs> Hmm. 
Okay, so uh, we're going to need to get food. Right? Let's go get some food real quick, guys. Thank you for the shares, everybody. But unlike more recently, they make things on purpose that is made to break. Oh, I know. Like Wish.com? Come on. Like, you know what? I've got a few things on there and never again. Never again. I mean, I, I already kind of knew. It just really depends on what you're buying. But, like, if you got a brand new phone and you paid all that money, like $800 for it, are you seriously going to go buy a $3 charger and then take the risk of brewing your battery or whatever? Like, just, just get the original charger. What is it, like five, six bucks? Like, you know, but certain things, yeah, I can understand. You just get, you don't have to get the exact one, whatever. That's fine. And I've heard people complain about the clothes on there too, like the clothes, like the measurements were off, and you know, it is what it is. You get what you pay for, I guess, but sometimes I just think that it's a little overboard. So why does my car spawn over here? That's so weird. And why is it that we can't see the street signs, like, blurred out? Now we start seeing it. That draw distance, though. Can cars kill me? I don't know if they can or not. Alright, so now it's daytime, guys. Oh, it's 1600. Oh my gosh, we gotta get to the... Shoot, we gotta get to the objective. Oh shoot, we gotta get something to eat too. But I don't, I don't wanna. Um, oh my health is going down, guys. Okay, hold on, time out, time out. We got some lollipops to hold us off, I think, because we remember the game restarted. Shoot. All right, so we're gonna have to start eating these. All right, so we got something to eat for now. Woo, my health was going down big time, guys. Very, very badly. Okay, so we need to go this way. Yeah, we need to go this way. And then the food joint's right at the corner. So let, let's um, let's hit this up real quick. It's 624 right now, guys. We don't have much time. Shoot. It's like they hide it. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We this need what? to be at the community center by 1500 today. Just think of talking in front of all those people. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. It's locked? All right, you know, let's just let's just go to the objective, guys. I mean, if it came to it, I'll get something to eat maybe after this mission. We'll be all right. All right, we need to hurry up and get to the get to the objective here. Oh my gosh. This car has some Terrible handling guys. All right, so I'm going this way. Is that what we're doing? Am I going the right way? I don't even know anymore I think so I hope we're gonna find out right now though. I don't know if this is going to uh... So where shall we go next? Hold on, guys. I don't want to really go off course here, so we got to make sure we're going the right way. Yeah, it looks like they hide it. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Let's check that big map. Where'd it go? Right here. All right. Where are we headed? We go this way, and then what? No, we don't want to go that way, guys. We went the wrong way. So this way. Oh, man. All right. So I got to go back down. Second Street. Make a left. And second left. We're going to make a left on Donovan Street. Okay. Got it. See, I'm going the wrong way, guys. Why is the driving so weird in this game? All right, let's get going. Oh, wow. There's trucks in this game? Never knew there was trucks in this game. Wow. Move it. Move it. Move over. All right, so Donovan Street, guys. We got to make that left turn. Remember. All right, let's make a left. The game lets me. There we go. Well, I was supposed to make it on the second left, but it's all good. So we'll make the right, and then we'll make another left, and then the left on Donovan Street. We'll be good. We'll just use the grass. So they get. Oh gosh! Yo, the steering in this game is so weird. All right. This should be Donovan Street. Yep. Right here. Okay, guys. Now, now. Actually, I think we could just go up this way. Holy macaroni. 
Oh, man. We got a half hour to get there, guys. Luckily, we're here now. Right. They pump out more crap tech every th three to five years. It's right, breaking it down, right? Oh, no, I know. It's like GPS. You know, GPS was already a thing in the works. And, it, you know, they had it for a long time. And then we finally get it. You know, it's, uh, ooh. There's people here. There's suspects and everything, guys. So this is maybe a good chance to talk to some of these guys. Let's get some interrogation going on. At least we caught them here instead of at their houses. Well, what the? All right, so that's Keith. Check. Let's check on this guy. Everyone's waiting. Let's go to the community. Oh, we can't even talk to them. Right, so you see these cars are transparent. I want to take their cars, man. Who is this? This car must be George. All oh, this display of power is definitely suits him. Okay, so whose is this? So each officer has their own patrol car. What's with Thomas though? What's with this dude? Figures that he would choose this one, <laughs> right? He's so weird. All right. I don't know. He just seems like he's suspicious. But at the same time, that's just his character. Maybe. I, I don't know, guys. Suspect. Take him down. Right. Right. Take him down. Yeah, it won't even let me talk to him. That sucks. All right, guys. We're going in. Let's see what happens. Greenvale Community Center. Now that's an impressive building. Clock tower is impressive too. We're going inside. All right, so let's see what's going on. We're about to talk to everybody, all the town spokes. Right? Not really. Right. All right, so we're finally here, guys. We made it. We made it. Zach, I haven't been on stage like this since elementary school. Must be a masquerade, I'm not vampire game. Tree in the wind this time either. Well, that was a tough role. I was a piece of scenery, bright red tree. <clears throat> Thank you, all for coming today. Getting right down to business. Agent Morgan, from the Federal Bureau of Investigations, wishes to speak with you. Good afternoon. I'm Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Some of you are already aware by now of the tragic murder of Anna Graham. Truly a heinous, terrible crime. I've come to this town to solve the murder of this young, beautiful girl. And to bring the one responsible to justice. Unfortunately, incidents like these have a tendency to happen again. I asked to have you gathered here so I can share some advice in order to minimize the risk of further fatal incidents. Firstly, please stay away from any dark, dangerous, isolated places. Those of you with children, especially of Anna's age, please guide your children away from such places at all costs. Secondly, avoid going out when it is raining. Now I've heard the folklore story of the raincoat killer. There is a chance that the murderer is mimicking the story. Women should also be especially careful I would hate to see more victims. Oh, somebody's coming in. Carol McLean, bar owner and singer. Is that the one that came in town? Who's the fashionably late one? That's Carol, Thomas's sister. She owns a bar. Thomas's sister. 
Oh oh. Oh excuse me. Maybe Tom is her so, behind all this. Said, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> right? Outside when it is raining. Young women should be especially careful. Report anything or anyone suspicious immediately. The murderer will be caught and brought to justice. But you must all remain on guard until we do so. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't understand this guy with the mask too, like weird row. Uh oh, he wants to say something too. When paying for our sins, we must not frown. The loss of honor was for that debt. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. Uh oh, we got some poetry. Yeah, see, this game gives you a lot of weird characters, so it's kind of harder to, to predetermine. Sure knows how to steal thunder. Well then, Zach, let's ask some questions before all these guys leave. There we go. Now we can actually probably have some. Okay, so now we can talk to people. Uh, still don't hit up a smile. There's no reason we should focus on. Well, we can talk to George. Let's see what he says. Agent Morgan, here's your chance to get to know some of the townsfolk. Don't let it go to waste. All right, cool. So we can get to know some of the townsfolk. This Thomas guy, like, what is with him? Like, look at him. He's weird. Looks somewhat nervous. So I sense an inner strength in him. He's serious and. An excellent cook. So whether that makes him an able deputy is another story. Right, that's true. Agent York, your words really made me think about Anna's death again. How could one do such a terrible thing? I'm still in shock. <sighs> Thomas, I forgot to ask. You don't have a tattoo on your back, do you? Uh oh. A tattoo? No. I do, actually. But why? Could you show it to me, please? What? Now? Here? Yes, please. This is vital for our investigation. Oh. Okay. If it's gonna help you any. Uh-oh. Well, I'm wondering who G is now, but aside from that... Did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not. What are you saying? You ought to see that tattoo, Zack. A big heart with an arrow through it and love G in the center. I don't know when he got that done, but we've all been through the 80s. Uh oh, uh oh. Yeah, that's true. That's weird. That is very, very weird. Alright, so Thomas, I don't know, man. Thomas is still a bit on the weird side of me. Quite a performance. Mysterious and very poetic. But I don't think many of your audience appreciated it. Mr. Francis York Morgan, the purple fog appears with rain. Soiling and ruining our town. The evil does not drain. Find out why the town is soiled. Remove the source from which it boiled. Then and only then, your case is solved. But for this to happen, to solve the crime, the proper must do the proper at the proper time. Wow. It is not yet mine. That is, Mr. Stewart's time, not mine. But if you, Mr. York, find the right timing to chat with me, that is, with Mr. Stewart, may that be informative and fruitful you will see. 
So says Mr. Stewart. So, wow. Harry, you know something. But there's some reason why you can't tell me yet. Is that what you're trying to say? George is listening in, guys. Cut the poetic rubbish, Harry, and tell us what you know. We can force you to talk, you know. Mr. Frank yeah, I'm not writing him off either. Pay close attention to the signs, the omens, and the premonitions. Small they may be, they still are finds, and helpful to your investigations. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning, Harry. But don't worry. Me and Zack, we know what we're doing. Okay, so they just disappeared. Okay, so uh, those guys are out of the way. What was what with that in the middle? Maybe we don't want to hit that yet. So this is when we talk to the people. No relation to the case, I figured. No relation to the case, I figured. Okay, so the, these guys are just like outer mapped areas here. Okay, so who's related to the case? Probably just in the front. Okay, yeah. All, well, the way these NPCs are looking, too, you can kind of tell they're... So, what do we have? Emily? Okay. Agent York, are you finished asking questions yet? When you're done, let me know. We'll all get dinner. Huh? We're all good dinner? Oh yeah, actually I'm hungry right now, for real. Now, I don't want to stand in the middle of this because I don't know what this is going to do. Oh. I'll take it because actually we need it. You know, for being part of the FBI and dealing with the police cases, I, you know, I thought they would provide a lot more coffee for me. Like, where's my coffee? Where's my coffee yet? Even admitting to withholding it to the police can't legally do that. I know, right? Yeah, this... George is just an upset sheriff. Oh, you got, yeah, guys, the yawns are in, but why am I yawning for? I have no idea. All right, so nobody else that we can talk to in here, though. So what we got to do, leave the area? Or they're all outside. That's what it is. There's many exits, too, but also many doors. Looks like the door wasn't locked. Um. Oh, look, there's pe there's people. In okay, so we got side rooms here, guys. All right. Let's ask around, Zach. In inquiries are the basis of criminal investigation, right? Very true. She's the mysterious one here so far. I think she knows the other girl. Because remember when we were looking at the flashbacks? Anna was an airhead. What do you mean? Are you saying she was killed because she was an airhead? Or are you saying that she was an airhead for being killed? I'm sure she's still an airhead even in heaven. She changed her hair every day. If she lost a pound, she'd be ecstatic. Gain one and she'd almost be in tears. She broke many, many plates every day at the diner, and she'd always have a smile on her face, always having fun. Everyone looked at her and knew she was a cute, adorable, loving airhead. But they would be smiling right along with her. I wouldn't be surprised if the angels smiled with her too. Isaac and Isaiah said that Anna was a fairy of the forest, a goddess. <sighs> okay, so that, that was interesting. Yeah, that's not creepy, <laughs> right? That's what I'm saying. What's up, Great Web Up? Oh, she left some cigarettes. Hey, I'll take it. All right, so we're going to send that to the toolbox so we're not, like, overdoing our inventory system here, guys. All right, so we talked to her already. Um, 
How do we do? Just magically go to her? Alright, what else do we got around here? Bunch of doors we can't go through probably, okay. This was one of the exits. Alright. Let's check around the other way. Wow, we got a lot of people to talk to then. This guy's a suspect. Let's hear what this person has to say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A lot of people we had to figure out who was it. So you're the FBI agent, are you? The general owner of the scrapyard. Uh-oh. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I'm the general. I fought for my country in the Vietnam War. A real-life war hero. So why are you living here? Soldier, this is my hometown. After a man returns from war, there's no place to go other than his hometown. Your little speech, you mentioned the raincoat killer. Was that a problem? You imbecile. The raincoat killer's no myth, not mere folklore. Not a fairy tale. It's based on actual events that happen in this town. It is. I'm interested. Can you tell me more about this? <laughs> You kids today don't even know how to ask for something, right? Soldier, if you want to hear more, you come to my office. Wow, so I don't think we're going to get much information. He literally exudes raw power, Zack. Despite the credibility issues, we should give him a visit. One thing, though. He calls himself a general, but isn't that a sergeant's uniform? Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get in the backs. So we talked to these people before. I like how he throws that badge around. I know, right? He's like, of course, plenty. But tell me, Usher, when is Anna's funeral? Mm, that's still undecided. Wait, we got a funeral? She isn't really in any condition to do it right now. Her mother? I don't see her here. Anna was the sole reason for living after her husband was deceased. Well, she's probably huddled up at home. And I should probably take some time to pay her a visit. Well, yes, you should. And I'd appreciate it if you could, too. Um, but don't go too hard on her, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and check with Fiona. Fiona! Shrek. Are you getting closer to catching the murderer? Hello again, Fiona. Good to see you here. Well, Dr. Johnson told me to be here. He said it would be important. Well, that was good advice. He may be young, but he seems like a wise man. Oh, and he's a very hard-working person, too. Everyone thinks he's some kind of weirdo, but I don't think so at all. People don't understand why he's in the autopsy room all day, but I do. He's doing research to make the world a better place in the future. You know, he I a fortune in L.A. with his career. I did not know that. Thank you. You didn't? Oh, the doctor is a very rich man. He has a really big house over by the lake. Amazing, Zach. He must be loaded. Rich and young. A perfect combination. But you don't get that feeling from him at all, do you? He doesn't show it. That's one of the things I like best about him. Well, I could have been fooled if it weren't for you. Thanks for the valuable information, Fiona. Why did he backed off like that? That was weird. All right, so now we just go downstairs. Hey, Lily. Hello. Agent York, your speech frightened some of us a little. You should work on being more sensitive with words when talking to groups. Really? I tried my best to be gentle. Yeah, very true, Zero. So, have you noticed anything strange or out of place recently? Hmm. Just Becky, really. She works part-time at the store. She's been acting strange recently. Strange? How? I took the boys along to visit her house today. 
I was just worried, you know, because she hasn't come into work at all after that incident. But she took in the boys and told me to wait outside. Something about a special secret between just the three of them. I just couldn't understand it. Now that's interesting. Thank you, Lily. Perhaps we should give Becky a visit tomorrow, Zack. All right, let's see what's going on here. Hey, York, you were rocking it large up there. Was I? I haven't been on stage like that since elementary school. You made me think, man, like, things can't go on like this. We need, like, some action or something. I was pretty psyched up, you know, before you got on stage. I was like, dude, a real psycho in town. Pretty sweet gig. But now, I mean, dude, that lunatic could be any one of us, man. I don't want to think of that whack job coming after my family. Makes me shudder all over, man. It was way too heavy. You'll catch him, right, FBI? Of course. But you need to be able to take care of those you love, too. You're right, man. Right on the level. I need to do what's right for my family, man. You lit my soul, man. Thanks, FBI. <laughs> this guy is weird. Rock on. Uh, we, we got a suspect over there, but we're gonna talk to these people first. Can you tell me if you noticed anything strange about Anna before the incident? Well, I'm not sure if this will be of any help, but... Anything, no matter how small, could be of help. Well, you see, the diner closes when it rains. Many shops do that around here, as you might have heard. Anyway... Anna always seemed unfocused the day after it rained, and came in late, too. It was almost as if she used up all her energy the day before. Come to think of it, that was really strange. Did that legendary monster really kill her? It wasn't a monster. Just a criminal. A criminal I'm going to catch and bring to justice. A political agenda! Right, right. I've got nothing to say to you. Nick, you came here for a reason. Something bothered you. What was it? I came here because you asked us to. That's all. Wow. Okay. Mr. Attitude Man. Um. Do I see Grandma twice over there? Oh, these two different people. That's Polly. She's looking like, you're going to grab that metal deer? Yeah, I'm going to grab it. Thank you, Grandma. Now, let's talk to Polly. Mr. Morgan, you're quite an impressive public speaker. Well, thank you. Thank you, Polly. You reminded me a little of a play I saw when I was younger. What kind of play? I'm talking about back when this place was still called the Mercury Theater. When I was young, I used to come here often with my husband. God rest his soul. We'd come on the weekend to see the latest play. He'd always pretend to be uninterested, but I could tell he was excited inside. He was just one of those kind of guys, really, thinking about it now. Really, Polly? So what's your favorite play? Oh, well, I like so many. There was one in particular, but... I can't recall the name anymore. Oh, it was a very famous one, too. Something by Shakespeare? Oh, um... No, nothing. One more bell that doesn't ring anymore. I've always been forgetful about the plays we used to see anyway. Oh, and my husband would get angry at me for forgetting what we saw. He'd go on for hours retelling what the play was about. His eyes were so sparkling, like a happy young boy. I see. So, what's your favorite play? Oh, I almost forgot, Mr. Morgan. We're going to have another guest soon. I have to get back and get things ready. Sorry for having to hurry away. I'll see you back at the hotel. That was weird. Zach, I think she could embarrass the toughest of the FBI's interrogators. She successfully avoided answering my question, Zach. Amazing. 
Hmm. See, so everybody's being weird. This lady's missing a shoe. Okay, so a lady's holding a pot, missing a shoe, and doing some kind of dance. What do you guys think about this one? Wait, what's the what's the bot doing now, Project Zero? Alright, we're back. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, let's just axe around, Zach. Inquiries at the base is okay. Yeah, right. Wait, I know that, buddy. We're trying. Hold on. Quint, you're here, too. I didn't think you were the town meeting kind of guy. A friend of mine was killed, you know, man? I'm not letting this one go quietly. I'll do anything to help you catch the scumbag who did this. Thank you. But vigilance is not justice. Nothing good will come from desiring simple revenge. Oh, come on, I'm not that stupid. But I'm frustrated a bit just thinking that there's nothing I can do about it. We each have a role, purpose in life, though. Raison d'être. Probably cook. Don't forget <laughs> Probably cook the shoe. I know. Just don't preach to me. You're sounding like my old man. Zach, wow. I'm in shock like a weasel in an electric chair. He just made me realize that I must be getting old. Wait, so Trickspot is spamming you, right? Because I noticed that... Okay, so Trickspot is whispering too much. Um... Well, maybe that work. Okay, so we already talked to Quint. Oh, look at this other guy. This other guy's a suspect. Let's hear what this person has to say. All right, let's take a look. You're huh. York, right? I'm Richard Dunn, the owner of the darts bar, Swery 65. Richard Dunn, he's the darts bar owner. All right, we need to talk. How'd you like the town? Oh, it's great. Aside from the murder that happened here. Yep. I mean, murder just doesn't fit with a small town like ours. Well, Richard, I'll have to correct you on that. Crimes don't <clears throat> care about size. Big town, small town, just isn't a factor. Uh, I guess you're right. So, how did you know Anna? I've known her since she was a child. She was the same age as my son. You know, she always stood out, being pretty and all. Just like her mother, Sally. What do you know about Sally? Well, I, I went all through school with her right here in town. I never thought our children would be the same age. I don't see her here today. Yo, oh, what's up, Queen? She lost her husband, and this time it's her daughter. She's at home right now, trying to make peace with it all. You seem to know a lot. How long have you been in love with her? <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. 
That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you and me. You're right, Richard. Collecting gossip won't help with the matter at hand. I don't know. We don't know who suspects or not, guys. Alright, so this was the other end of the hall that we didn't see. This was the first hall that I went to. This guy's weird. Let's hear what this person has to say. Alright. Good evening, Agent. Brian D. Whoa, Gravekeeper. Okay. Good evening, Mr. Brian. The Gravekeeper. <clears throat> Brian. Mr. Brian. I like the retro look. What? Auditioning for Little Grave on the Prairie. Anna. Oh, she was so beautiful. Too soon. Mm. Too, too soon to go to the grave. So sad. So sad. I totally agree. That's why I'm here. Looking for the one who did it. Were you close to her? Mm. Anna. <laughs> her smile. So warm. Anna. Blonde hair. So bright. There's a graveyard somewhere in town, Zach. I'm not excited about the idea, but maybe we should at least check it out. Wow, yeah, he was, uh, that was, that was very weird. He looks like a freaking zombie or a vampire, <laughs> right? Yeah, dude, okay, see what I'm saying, Bordy? Everybody in this town looks corrupted in some sort of way, right? They have some form of some weirdness going on. All right, we still got that one guy in the front, guys. But no, 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 hold on, wait. We got that guy at the front bay gate, and then we also still have, um, that's Jim. Right, let's, right, I don't know why, I want to save that old lady for last. She seems like she's going to be interesting. Jim, thanks for your help in the forest. How are Isaac and Isaiah? They're fine. They really seem to love their grandpa. Well, I guess they do, son. I want to keep them away from the filth of the material world as much as I can. Their mother agrees, which is why she lets me take care of them so often. And that's why I want you to solve this case quickly and go home. Those rumors about that scar of yours do more damage than good around here. I guess I reek of the material world, don't I? I have to in order to do my job. But I understand what you mean. Mm -hmm. I'd think the same if I was born in a place like this, Zack. <laughs> These two really have a weird way of looking. I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. Ah, uh, Jack the Raging Bull. Raging Bull. Isn't that like a what pill they the sell? Shut up. At least give me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. If you want info, it'll cost you. I only talk to Ben Franklin. You know, first impressions are important. I can detain you for a few days and maybe you'll become more fun to meet. <laughs> <sighs> Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. Okay, all right. Well, let's try the lady. Hey, good looking. Nice speech. Gina the Rose. That's Jack's wife. Okay, so she's nice and, and charming, are. and Jack is just mean. Oh, I'm Gina. I'm married to Jack. He runs the gas station. Maybe now we'll find a gas station. The Rose. The Rose. Pretty, pretty revealing. Oh, this old thing. Oh, you should see some of my other clothes. You? Oh, now you are cool. That scar really is a turn on. You should come to my station. I'll give you a little extra service. That would be great. I can't believe how expensive gasoline is nowadays. Some extra service would be great. Now, about my current case. Do you have any information on Anna? 
Have you seen anything suspicious? Uh, what just happened? I don't know. Talk to my hubby about the difference. <laughs> <stuff, okay? laughs> this is getting us nowhere, Zach. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Yo, this game is weird, guys. Okay. Uh, oh gosh, the PS loss. All right, we're going to talk to the old lady. This is it. She's wearing gloves, which makes sense. Look at his eye. Look at his eyes. Oh my. My pot is getting cold. Roaming. Sigourney? The pot lady. Hey, mister. My she must have a lot of pots. Cold. You are. Who? What are you saying? I'm Sigourney. Sigourney, okay. Sigourney. Sigourney. Okay. Now, what is the matter? Can you explain? No time for chatting. I need to hurry. My pot is getting colder. Oh, you're useless. Well, what do you want me to do? Zach, we've met all sorts today, but really, she takes the cake. Amazing. Yeah, well, maybe she's covering it up. Yeah, she's interesting indeed. All right, well, we got this last guy at the front door here, guys. Let's see. Sigourney Weaver, right? Oh, really? The FBI special agent, Francis York Morgan. <laughs> Be gone. Oh, oh my gosh. Wesley, owner of the gun store called Panda Bear. People around here call me the gunsmith. So pretty much we're meeting all the owners of some kind of establishment. Was there something you want to ask me? How do you make a living running a gun store in a place like this? I'd be worried because there can't be that many customers. Worry gives a small thing a big shadow. I do gunsmith work in my shop, too. If you got the skills, the customers find you. All you need is a network. I hope so. Hmm. Oh, is this the stuff that he's selling when it's launched? Oh, no. Do I have a machine gun? <clears throat> so we get... Times five for fourteen ninety five. I don't remember if I have the machine gun or not. have one in my toolbox so I'm gonna wait hopefully we can I don't want to mess up you've got quite a selection here no wonder people come from all around even today a customer paid me to go to Seattle for some help I just got back I see well I'll be sure to visit your store sometime I'd like for you to take a look at my gun understood look forward to it the shop will be open again tomorrow. It's usually open from 2000 to 0600. See you then. Okay. So we talked to everybody and I didn't save it. Agent Morgan, I'd like to let everyone go home now. Let's go outside. Everybody's weird. Keep your eyes open, guys. So we just cleared off that area. That took me six hour and twenty nine minutes. Wow. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one making that connection. Uh oh, lollipop. <laughs> 
La oh, that's a good song. Wow, lollipop song. Lollipop, lollipop. I made two hundred and sixty dollars. Our basic wage is unpaid salary was three hundred and forty. Our fund funds total was ten thousand four hundred and ninety-five dollars. I should have bought the machine gun. Why didn't I? I don't know. We'll get it later at the machine gun shop store, guys. Wow. I just saw the picture, Miss, or the thing you just sent me. Well then, Agent York, do you have any plans for this evening? I was going to head back to the hotel and go over my notes. I need to contact HQ and give a progress report, too. Okay, and let's call it a day here. Sounds good. Contact my office when you finish your report. We'll pick you up tomorrow morning. Diane, the owner of the art gallery, should be back soon. All right, then. Let's do that. Uh, hold on, Agent York. We're going out to eat at Nick's diner. Would you like to come with us? The diner? That might be nice. Thomas is a great cook, but Nick is the real deal. No visit to Greenvale is complete without eating at the A and G. A very right. appealing proposition. Zach, what do you think? We can always go back to the hotel after eating dinner, or go directly back to the hotel. You decide, Zach. I guess we'll go eat with them. <laughs> I feel like it's a distraction, and it's working. Be right back. No problem, Queen. We'll see you in a bit. So here's that diner we went to before. Uh oh, we're sitting with Emily. She's drinking beer. I've been sheriff here for a long time now, and this is the worst murder I've ever seen. He didn't bite the burger. It's a little odd in some ways, but it's usually a peaceful place. We had our fair share of cases, but just the regular stuff. A high school kid shoplifting from the milk barn, maybe. Or some hot-headed kids fighting, fueled on liquor. Nothing more than that. Agent York, what kind of cases have you dealt with in the past? Not much different from those you've just mentioned. The case I was on until last month, well, the guy killed seven girls in a three-month period. He sawed their heads off from the neck and took them back to his house. <laughs> look at George, look at, look at their faces. He used them as utensils in his daily life, to eat from or as a urine cup. Huh. He hated women. That was his way of dealing with it. He'd fill skulls with ice, cola, and rum. Then he'd down it in one gulp. For him, that was a holy ritual. The question of his mental state was the pivotal point in the court case. Wow. Oh, man. For me, he was insane. 100%. Drinking from the skulls. Well, that is one thing. But those he had used to relieve himself, he would then just use them to drink from, too. Ugh. Yeah, that was too much for me. It's just not sanitary. <clears throat> uh, not sanitary. Uh, that's probably not the problem for most of us. What else? Ah, yes. An ingenious law school student raped over 800 victims. That was a nasty one. Thank you, Agent York. Now, let's talk about something else. You don't want to hear anymore? That's a shame, isn't it, Zach? I was just about to get to the good part, too. Sounds like you live in a totally different world. I mean, you're like an elite agent who just jumped out from a movie or something. In your eyes, we must look like we're just playing cops and robbers. Ugh, I give up. I can't compete with you. Don't say that, Emily. 
The cases you have solved are all full-fledged crimes. A crime is a crime. Size doesn't matter. There is no big. Eight hundred. That's a lot. Crimes always have a, a criminal and a victim. No victim will ever welcome a crime, no matter what its size. So, fundamentally, there is no difference in size. Well said, Agent Morgan. We work day and night to preserve peace and order in this town. You understand that, right? Of course, but still, I don't view shoplifting and Anna's murder as the same level of crime. Me, neither. I never even dreamt that such a thing could ever even happen in this town. <laughs> I keep on expecting to see Anna here in this diner, waiting on tables. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse us, Agent Morgan. We should have made dinner a more uplifting experience. Let's call it a night. Okay. Good night, then. <laughs> All right, guys. So I guess we're going back to the motel or back to the house, actually. And get on with the next mission that we have going on here. Oh yep. Yeah, the pigs in the town would probably soil the pans if there was a series. <laughs> yeah, they're only they're only used to like shoplifting and stuff, guys. So we're wet fed, well fed. Yay, we got free food. Look at me, guys. Reloading. Hi. Mm-hmm. 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 Um, I have no idea, guys. Let's get inside this car real quick. Yo, what's going on, Michelle? We're playing Delhi Premonition. All right, so we're going back, guys. Um, what time is it? So what do I do now? We have no, we have no, we have no objective, no limit, no nothing. So we just do what we want. So this might be the time to do what we need. All right, so let's go this way. We need to get to a phone real quick. It's gonna be a phone right over here to the right, guys. Right here. We need to save the game. Time to save up. They can't even do Right, that's very true. Very true, guys. Very true. All right, where's that phone at? Right here. Get off this map. Let's make that call. I is back. Welcome back, queen. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, when we got full hunger, our health should be regenerating, right? That's what it should be doing. So what do we want to do now, guys? I think we're just supposed to sleep. We got a couple of houses here, but I don't think it's going to be all closed. Actually, we do have an objective. But there's just no limit on it. Wait a minute. Whoopsie daisy. How am I supposed to get over there?
All right, how are we getting? Oh, okay, so that's gonna be right there, right? So that's the. Oh, that's the hotel. Well, we can't go through the forest, so we go down, make a right, right, and then it'll be right there. Okay, guys. So let's go ahead and turn this around real quick. Well, all right. So let's go. Let's go. Off-roading. That's how we got to do it. This kind of window, I go hunting and stuff like cards, right? Can I go off the grass? Oh! Okay. That's uh, not the right way, guys. Alright, let's go and turn it. Oh! Hey, hey, did you hear my sirens? Move out the way! People nowadays. Where did everybody get their driver's license from? Well, the bar is open. We've never been in a bar. Let's go inside the bar real quick, guys. Check the bar out. We've never actually been in here yet. Oh, George. Let's peek through the window because there's George and Carol. <clears throat> What's going on here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fix? No, we have a mission to do, <laughs> right? Uh, but this is part of the investigation. Because that bar owner, we've never been in this bar yet. There's even a metal in there I didn't even grab yet, guys. we got to grab that metal. Okay, so. Very true, see? Portic Zero has a very good statement there. There is a metal to be obtained. Different windows to look through too. Let's look through this one. I mean, we don't look obvious, right? We're just outside this establishment here. We're just like looking to peek into the window. Passengers driving by, not wondering what's going on. Ooh, is this the locker room? <gasps> oh, this will be a good room to peek in. <laughs> We're gonna stay here all day, guys, until she has to change. <laughs> right. All right, guys, I don't think she's coming in here anytime soon. Oh man, it's just one of those games I thought, and I guess I was wrong. Popular fish in Greenville replenishes a moderate amount of your hunger. Well, that's very nice. Wow, it's already one o'clock. Time flies, guys, let me tell you. Oh, I love water, man. Water is so good. Mm -mm -mm. What does everybody like? Everybody like spring water or purified water? What is your favorite? Let's just go inside, guys. Bar is open. Oh, potatoes. I like potatoes. Potatoes sounds pretty good, actually. 
You know what? I can I can really go for like mashed potatoes with gravy. So George is here drinking, guys. He should be out patrolling, saving the world, and he's patrolling instead. So wait, wait. We have doors here. Probably shouldn't try to get in here. This door leads to a storage room. If we're going to have a drink, I prefer the counter. This door leads to the Picture room. Doesn't seem like anyone's inside now. So this is we go in there now. This is that room we were looking at earlier, right? Nothing inside. Stabilizer. All right. Good job. Oh, a suitcase. Maybe our our clothes is finally clean. Yay! No problem. Yeah, this one gives us two times attack and cash and increase HP. It's just everything in general about it's just good. Now, it's looking a bit dirty, so we're going to go ahead and just clean that so it's ready by the time... Eight dollars! A lot of money, man! A lot of money! Oh, guys, I need to shave. Look at my face. I'm growing a beard. Oh, my gosh! Yes, tricks. Things like me when potatoes are mentioned. I know. You know what really came to my mind was some KFC chicken mashed potato bowl. I know it's like the mo one of the most unhealthiest things out there, but it sounds pretty tasty right now. Sure, drink a lot. She might be the main reason they come here, though. All right, everybody's drinking right now, guys. What is going on? What's with everybody's eyes? Like, look at everybody's eyes in here. Why are they all black eyes? They're like, they're not sleeping. Are your eyes here black too, George? No, you look normal, bro. Well, this guy looks normal too. Okay, well, that's still weird. Don't bother me unless you have something really important. Uh-oh. Uh oh, she's going into the back room, guys. <sighs> that was a fantastic song. I don't need your calculated compliments. Wow. I'm not calculating anything, Carol. I'm just saying that you have a wonderful voice. Well, thank you. Happy now? Oh, not quite. Hmm. I'm trying to give you some praise. But you're only appreciating a tenth of it. This could be a problem, Zach. What do I have to do to make you believe that I'm being honest? Uh-oh. Easy. If you really like my song, then get the hell out of here. Wow, she's going into that room. Nope, she's just getting a drink. <sighs> Alright, so she got nothing to say to me, guys. Okay. Well, what else is going on around here? Just regular people? Everybody has black eyes. Why everybody have black eyes? Well, we can't go on stage. Can't talk to George no more. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He's, he's... Uh, well, we can't bother him, but we're getting points though. No, he's not. He's not. Oh, that's it, guys. Like, right, we're done here. Actually, let's save it again. We haven't saved it in a while. Thank you for the share, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, what's up, Cheese Overlord? All right, let's get out of here. Ugh. Dash right through the door, guys. Dashing through these doors. Search it for my car. Because if I just walk, I won't get very far. Ha ha ha. That was a bad remix. All right. Well, I I think I still yet to find chocolate in this game. And if I'm not mistaken, I think chocolate is very expensive. You should see the vending machine prices in this game, guys. It's ridiculous. 
A lollipop cost fifteen dollars. Whoa! All right, let's get in this car and get out of here. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, Zach. I need health, guys. I need health. How am I gonna get health? All right. So right now we gotta turn on the headlights. We're gonna go ahead and go this way. And we are now making progress, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys. Let's do this. We can do this. Screw over the side of the road. What are you doing? Oh my God! Those headlights, you guys. Whoa! Those headlights are bright. Wow, what a way the road to split. Oh, I'm gonna crash. Okay. We're at 68%. Um. Whoa! Alright, movie time, guys. Let's go. Uh, we're playing Deadly Premonition, guys. That's it. I'm, I'm getting some KFC after this. I think KFC will open at, what, 11 o'clock? I'm gonna get some later. Ooh, that's hype right now. Does anybody remember using any of these? Look at the keyboards they had back then. And we complain about the ones we have now. Okay then, Zach. Let's go back over our progress. First the victim. Anna's death. She was found hanging from a tree in the forest. She was cut open with a knife from her chest down to her stomach. That was the direct cause of death. The strangulation marks and skull fracture were caused after death. Her tongue was also bit off and I found something inside her mouth. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Oh, man. That's right. We found the same red seed in her mouth. According to Emily, it was raining when Anna was killed, but traces of tears were still evident on her face. Which means the perpetrator killed Anna under a roof in the lumber mill and then carried her body into the woods after it stopped raining. We found numerous important pieces of evidence at the site of the crime. A total of four things. Knee prints in the grass. A wood chip with metal dust. A photo of a man with a tattoo on his back and... One other thing. Do you remember what that was, Zach? That was... The broken stiletto. That's right. A broken stiletto heel. Aligning this with the other evidence suggests that two people came into contact with Anna's body prior to it being discovered by us. Those being the perpetrator who killed Anna and Miss Stiletto Heel. There is also the possibility that a third party carried Anna to the woods. That means we could be dealing with three people. Two or three people. In any case, Miss Stiletto Heel may have vital information. We need to find her next. We didn't use forensic methods, but we're still closing in on the criminal. <laughs> <sighs> have I forgotten anything? Oh, of course. The marks on her hand tell us that Anna was gripping something when she died. Do you remember that, Zach? Mm hmm. What do you think she was holding on to? I, I know it was like some kind of ball thingy. A round object. That's what it was. That's right. A round object. The marks on her hand. Did I pay attention? The man on the photo found in the woods had a tattoo of an upside down piece mark on his back. These two could well be related. But we don't know for sure. Next, the town folk. 
A few are I know I'm getting KFC later. Karen McLean, the singer and bar owner. She's Thomas's sister. Then there's Nick Cormack, the owner of the diner. Both of them seem to be hiding something. Right. There's Diane, the owner of the art gallery, who is out of town. Then we have problematic, old, rich, and eccentric Harry. Both will be tough to crack. Well, we just have to go one by one. Just the tear gamma. One of the biggest rewards here is the fantastic food. Enjoying food is cultural, and yet it's also a bit uncivilized. It's interesting how good food motivates me to work harder during investigations. Oh, and on Emily's back, it was strange to me. Hey, don't take that the wrong way, Zach. I wasn't getting all excited or anything. But it did make me feel strange, nostalgic, and sad almost. Uh-oh. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. You'll eat right now, young lady. You need to listen to your mother. I want to hear the rest of the story. Eat your lunch, then take a nap. Then I'll tell you the rest. But I want to hear it now. There's no need to rush things. You must live your life at the pace that is right for you. Okay. I know. Well, you realize the young girl's named Emily, the same name as the officer lady, so I'm thinking maybe that's like a flashback or something. I don't know. What is this? 101 Dalmatians? What is he doing? Wait, the arm. The hair in the arm. He's that chubby guy. I know that guy's arm. I remember that's the one that was like looking down that wanted to talk. Oh, you were thinking that about the Emily thing? Yeah. That's the only thing I can come up with really quick. So the old guy. Maybe it's Harry, but then again, that's, he's already old, so I don't know. Wow, we got... Wow! Yo, that was a fast level, though. Save complete. Woohoo! Yo, what's up with these mobile apps, guys? Like, blowing your phone up with notifications. Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but, like, lie me and stuff. Like, I've been had to, like, meet those notifications, guys. I went to the permissions and just blocked it. Oh, no, we're back here with the kids again. This is where it gets trippy, yo. Are you thirsty? Am I thirsty? You must be very thirsty. Very thirsty. You yeah. only take milk with your coffee? Yeah, only milk. Coffee <laughs> with milk. That's all. That's all. No sugar? What the? Is that Anna? Um Who are you? My name is Becky. That's the one that didn't want to talk to us. And his friend. Uh oh. What are you doing here? My name is Becky. Anna's friend? My name is Becky. I think that's all she's gonna say. We gotta go check Becky. Your throat is quenched. 
You must do what you must do. Take a sip of coffee and go. Wow, these kids, these kids, they're so adorable, aren't they? You're gonna drink that coffee? Are you gonna trust that coffee? Huh? Doors open. Uh oh. Where the kids go? Yeah, this isn't trippy at all, right? He is really thirsty, if you know what I mean. <laughs> right, he was just talking about the tattoo on Emily's back. All right, Queen, have fun at the doctor's. Good luck. Uh, did we search anything in his room? I don't think so. I mean, maybe this room gave us hints to everything. We just don't know. Ooh, lollipop. We'll take it. We will take the lollipop because we just drunk some coffee with no sugar, just coffee and milk. Oh, infinite. I got a cookie. Cookie. Mm, that's it. Yeah, guys, it looks like we're going right to the door. Red leaves fluttering in the air, a chandelier hanging from above. Can this be a riddle to solve, Zach? A red leaves fluttering in the air, a chandelier hanging from above. Oh. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a riddle we gotta do here, guys. It's locked. <laughs> All right, no problem, Queen. Thank you for coming in. All right, guys, hold on. We gotta figure something out here. Bunch of items we can't do anything with. Like mannequins, nothing, nothing. Door, nothing. Okay. Um. Chandelier, fluttering leaves. Okay, but I'm not really understanding what is going on. Oh! The chandelier is up there. Okay, guys. Alrighty then. What exactly is going on here? The door is open. Oh, we can go. Wow. We were allowed to go through. Oh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Is that the kid again? A lot of mannequins in this room, guys. A lot of mannequins in this room. All right, what do we got here? We're walking on water. Just the same room, just different. What the? Huh? Yeah. There's this new horror game I've been looking into, guys. It's actually called Adoption. It's actually, I think it's a cooperative like horror game. So I'm actually kind of curious about it. It looks pretty cool. Wow. I gotta shave. Wow, he slept with all his clothes on? Jeez. Zach, this case looks like it's directly related to us. Uh oh. I do not know how yet. But I do know I need some coffee. Some coffee. Yes, let's go get that coffee. Last time the coffee told us. George said he'd have someone pick us up in the parking lot. Let's get some breakfast with Polly first. Oh no, not that lady. Oh man, she, she's an interesting character. Ah, okay, um. Let's save the game real quick. Game is saved, all right. Uh, that's the way to get out of the room. 
That's our toolbox. Alright, let's just go get some breakfast with Polly. Well, this is the outside, I think. I think we gotta go this way, right? Yep. Yeah, that took that takes oh, us in. There. Did you need something? No, I was just passing by. I didn't think anybody else was here other than Polly. The door opening like that just it surprised me, that's all. Oh, okay, so that, he chopped some lady off. I'm Kason, Forrest Kason. Nice to meet you. I travel a whole lot, you see, selling tree saplings. Just the usual salesman doing the usual road trip. Sometimes I feel, I don't know, like a jolly old bumblebee spreading pollen. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I get it. You're the special agent Scarface that everyone's yakking about. Nice to meet you, Francis. Special Agent Scarface? I'd need a bigger scar to live up to that name. <laughs> Let me York. That's what everyone calls me. What? <laughs> you got it. York. Is this your first visit here, then? No, sir. Actually, I've been coming here once or twice a year for oh, a while now. I don't get much business here, but it sure does make a fine vacation. I mean, it's a gorgeous hotel at a bargain price. It's so relaxing in these parts, too. Oh, I just love all the nature. I feel so relaxed here. Say hi to Willie. Oh, don't worry. He's a good boy. Do you like dogs? Hey, Willie. How are you doing? He's pretty smart, too. Oops, before I forget, let me give you this. It's just a sample of what I sell. Uh, thank you. How kind of you. So, what brings the old FBI out here? Sounds like more than just a vacation. A murder, actually. <laughs> I know, right, King? The perpetrator is still out there. Try to stay indoors at night and during the rain. We want to prevent it from happening again, okay? Oh, it's a darn shame. Places like this used to be the safest in America. Could I ask you something? Do you know a lot about seeds? Seeds? Gardening, huh? You don't look like a green thumb, but let me tell you though. I'm pretty much the only one who can make those saplings sprout. There's a trick to it that can't really be passed on, you know? It's like, oh, the secret of making a good smoked ham, something like that. But you know, once they sprout, you don't need to do much. You can leave it be and why, it'll turn into a big tree no matter what happens. Kind of like those stocks that politicians buy that just keep growing and growing. Well, you just wait and see. This town is gonna love them. <laughs> right. We were just about to go take a morning stroll, so I'll get going. Good luck now with that case. Thanks. Yeah, something's off said, about that guy. Boots to his boots, too. Said. Forrest Kaysen. F. K. Uh-oh. This show has just begun. Okay. So he's on our list. Uh, where is the... Straight to the right. Okay. Let's get going. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go down this hall right here. Well, this was the... Uh, oh, yeah. These vending machine prices. Screw that. Breakfast looks as good as yesterday's. I hope you enjoy it. I will. And thank you. I just met Kaysen, actually. Oh, good old Mr. Kaysen. Did he give you a sapling? As a matter of fact, he did. Don't tell me he gives one to everyone he meets. No, no. Only to the people he feels comfortable with. He told me. He must feel really comfortable with me. He must. Is there anyone he hasn't given a sapling to? Mustard? Okay, I'll just get it from the kitchen then. No. Yeah, I know. It has nothing to do with it. 
I was wondering if you know of anyone that Kason didn't give Very true, Cheese Overlord. Oh, too much pepper. I did think it might be. I'm sorry. Oh, Zack, I forgot. We'll never get anything out of her, will we? Forrest Kason. He's hiding something. You think so too, right, Zack? Well, let's check the copy and the copy will tell us. All secrets are hidden until they are inevitably divulged to the powers of entropy. Of entropy, you got the it. The world exposes everything and causes chaos. Just like this coffee. All right, so what's the copy going to say today? Nothing? Really? Yeah, I got full health, we got hunger, we got rest, we got everything, guys. She's avoiding the questions or she's just old. Yeah, you should have saw it before. Our first time at that hotel, we sat at the table far away from each other. Oh, my game just crashed. Oh man, come on. No, I mean, we weren't that far, but now we gotta. Oh. Oh man. Rip. Huh? Wow, we're in chapter eight. Investigation. F. K. In the coffin. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Ah, the perpetrator. Bit off Anna's tongue. Jackpot sack. A shame, but our old time all American sightseeing torches came to an end. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. Oh, well, there's an old story. Folklore. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. She had a red dress on. She was a goddess. It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. All right. Let's try this again. What happened? My game crashed. My game went down, guys. It crashed on me. No. No, it happens. I mean. All right, well, we gotta do all that again. That sucks. I mean, now we gotta meet this guy. <laughs> Whoa there. <laughs> right. All right, so we're done with him, and then we gotta go meet Polly real quick. Forest cave. All right, so we're done there. Let's go ahead and book it on out of here, guys. Do not act without thinking first. Lucky so number three. Lucky number is three today. The first case I worked after joining the FBI had three victims. Train station. A life is a wonderful thing. Cases may come flooding in like passengers at rush hour. Okay, so the train station. Hmm. Thank you, Cheese Overlord. Thank you. 
The sampling is sitting right outside of my apartment, I just realized. Alright guys, I gotta save it up here. Okay. Oregon's really a new Stargate. <sighs> I just I I can't believe time flies, guys. I, I I just seriously can't believe how fast time has flown. Wow. Okay. Already dead. Bum 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 bum. Stargate Origins? All right, so we did have the thing with the copy telling us train station. Now I remember seeing it on. Oh, hi. What's wrong, Polly? You look a little tired. I'm fine. Well, it's just that I was cleaning up my room, and so many memories came flooding back to me. Memories? Oh, my dear! Mr. Morgan, that's not the kind of question you should ask a lady. Huh? Polly has a precious piece. We gotta check her room? Um, okay, so how do we know where her room is? Is it on this side? A bunch of phones on here though. Your live just updated? Nice! What's the update all about? Anything good? I might have to check. She's got to find out where her room I don't know where her room is somewhere Ooh, we got a metal piece that's good oh it takes us outside no Oh, they added audio broadcast. Okay, yeah, there's other apps doing that. It's um, it's interesting to see Limey doing it now. Yeah, so Limey has some pretty big competitors going on, and I think they're just trying to do everything that they're doing. That's pretty much why they did the full Fluxer deal, but it's just didn't work out for them. Oh, some 70 years prior to the first movie taking place. Really? Uh-oh. Good morning, Agent Morgan. Did you sleep well? No, not really. Morning, George. Dreamland was quite nice. You do look well rested. Oh, I was up practically all night doing paperwork. Thomas helped me out so I was able to go home and get some sleep, but not enough. Diane got back into town late last night. We should give her a visit. Oh, you're on another app now too? What app are you on? Gallery, correct? She lives and works in the office there, so it's the only place to find her. 
The gallery is open from 10 to 1700. Time for some art appreciation. Yeah, Limey's losing a lot of their members, to be honest. They're not they're not maintaining their current members, but they're still drawing new people a lot, you know, so that's pretty much what their goal. I think they're just going to try to make the quick buck they can while they while they can, you know, but I don't know. All right, so what what do we got to do here? Are we talking to them? No. Oh, we're going to Diane. The gallery is called Muses Gallery. The Muses were the nine daughters of the goddess of memory in Greek mythology. Ah, uh, it's just like Diane to name it that way. Is she that intelligent a woman? Oh, uh, maybe. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Did you see how Emily reacted? Oh, Big Live? I sense that this Diane. Is I'm on Big Live. If you go there right now, you'll find me. I'm actually on there right now too. The gallery is on the north side of town. Take the road along the lake and go north. Yep, I definitely am. I'm everywhere. All right. Um. I can get you my my stream ID number if you want. Hold on. How do I do this? Yeah, like Limey's website, they, they finally started updating it, but it took them so long to do it. I think I might have to re-log in. I think so. Me, it won't even let it won't even let me type on there on the website. Pfft. Yeah, my username on there is the same as Lime, yeah. Yep. Wow, so far away guys. You know what I'm gonna do? We did save it, right? All right, we've been on for about three and a half hours, guys. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna have to get going. I gotta, I gotta, cause pretty soon I gotta go get my son. I'm about to leave these guys. They're gonna be mad, but we saved the game already anyway. If you're wandering off, then we'll go on ahead. We don't have time to mess around. Okay, I'll meet up with you later. Agent York, the gallery is open from 10 to 1700. Please keep that in mind and don't be late. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and um close up shop here guys if anything thank you so much for everything you know um i don't want to make this episode too long so we'll do episode five i don't know maybe i'll get on later if not we'll do a different game we'll see we'll see um but yeah to me me uh, yeah, 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 yeah. i'll definitely catch you guys in the next broadcast then how's that all right sounds good thank you so much guys i'll see you guys soon bye